Hi folks, this is your MWIS planning outlook updated on Tuesday the 9th of May. Some long range forecast thoughts in a moment. Let's just refresh on the shorter term details. And this is the situation as we start Wednesday morning with the low pressure centered toward the west of Britain, driving in periods of rain and some increasingly heavy showers that will break out more widely as the day goes on. Most regions then at risk of seeing some heavy bursts of rain locally, some hail and thunder possible. The greatest risk of these focused more towards eastern regions as we head through the afternoon, so around the Cairngorms, also across the far north of the northwest highlands and around the Pennines too. Those heavier showers may just track further towards eastern England later in the afternoon, becoming more scattered then across Wales and the Lake District. We'll see further areas of showers that will feed in across the western parts of Britain as we go overnight into Thursday. Our general centre of low pressure is a very broad feature as we go onwards into Thursday daytime. The focus of heavy showers across England and Wales and also central and southwestern parts of Scotland. Further north across the Highlands, generally avoiding the worst of the showers. There may be a few break out toward the west coast, out towards sky through the afternoon. Cloudy skies and fairly cool across the far north of the Highlands. Again, where showers form, they'll be heavy, the risk of hail and thunder, and with light winds from many places, they will drift around slowly, so it could well give rain for an hour or more in places. That's the general synoptic chart then for Thursday. There's no fronts on the chart as such. It's just a broad zone of low pressure. And at this time of year, that just triggers off these heavy showers in situ across the country. Springtime showers that always have the risk of hail and thunder. The story moves on into Friday and higher pressure just starts to push its way in, at least temporarily, and gives a drier situation, a lower risk of showers. The atmosphere is more stable by this time. The shower clouds don't grow quite as easily. A few will develop, bits more hit and miss and generally lighter than previous days. Fairly cloudy skies could just be left with the footprint of the moisture from earlier on in the week, but some sunshine breaking through, cloud bases lifting as the day goes on. It looks now as though fronts over the Atlantic are being held away for a bit longer, so uh, any risk of rain coming into the Western Highlands through Friday now looks to be a lower risk than it did earlier on in the week. Mostly light winds across the country, could be a rather cool northeasterly drift though across the Pennines and into Wales as well. Temperatures then on the low side heading into the weekend and also we may just get away with it across many regions for dry conditions on Saturday. We have the risk of some rather cloudy skies, maybe a few spits and spots of light showery rain on the remnants of this front across England and Wales and a chance that some patchy light rain and drizzle just starts to push into west and northwest Scotland as fronts are not too far away over the Atlantic. Here a stronger southwesterly wind particularly around coastal summits in the northwest. Otherwise with isobars well spent based out, the wind will be light through Saturday for most. Now uncertainty of timing and just the position of these fronts coming in, but Sunday does present the risk of lowering pressure and a zone of rain sweeping in from the west to become heavy and fairly widespread and even ahead of that the risk of some heavier showers moving in. Just watch the detail at this stage that front could be a bit faster or a bit slower so some places may deteriorate others may get away with it for longer during the day. Risk of some gusty winds in places as well where that rain is around. It's worth noting that there are still some snow patches across the higher summits in Scotland, generally not affecting the routes to the summits. You can typically avoid these, but the air temperature is quite close to freezing point across those higher tops through midweek. This is the freezing level and it's around 1600 to 1800 metres through Wednesday and Thursday. So you'd be looking at an air temperature on Ben Nevis summit, for example, of around two or three degrees Celsius. Now, as we go through into Friday and Saturday, that it will tend to lift a little bit higher. So the freezing level would be found at around 2000 metres in the atmosphere. So well above the summits and therefore the air temperature will rise a little bit as well, maybe nearer to five degrees or even above across some of the high tops in Scotland. Now, just notice what happens as we go through Sunday into Monday and uncertainty of the position and the timing of fronts. But behind that frontal system that comes in from the west, there is some quite colder air. And the indication here is that the freezing level could well drop by Sunday evening down towards a thousand metres. So 
putting those higher Scottish Munros back below freezing point. Any precipitation that falls has the chance then of falling as some sleet or some snow. I think that would be a temporary drop of freezing level because as we go through into Monday daytime that would lift and the air temperature goes back above freezing up to the high tops. And I think that will be the story into next week as well. We will pull the temperatures back a few degrees above freezing. But it does just show how we're still rather on the cool side across the higher mountains. It doesn't take much to tip things just back below freezing for a while. Now, some forecast models are more optimistic than others, and this particular chart picks up the story on Sunday. If you remember, we were looking at that front over western parts across Scotland through into Western England and Wales as we go into Sunday night. Now, this model for next week would suggest that that frontal system breaks up into showers over England and Wales and allows high pressure to build toward the north and west as we go through Monday into Tuesday. Now, I think this could be at the more optimistic end of forecast modelling at this stage. Some other suggestions keep lower pressure nearer to us, perhaps focused toward the south. But this does just give that suggestion maybe of a window of drier weather for a few days early next week, just allowing the air flows to come around from a northeasterly direction through England and Wales for a time. I'm not entirely convinced. I suggest there might still be a few more showers around than this model chart would go for, but it's just that maybe a window of some better days in there. There will be some drier and brighter spells away from areas of showers, so maybe better than what we're seeing through this next couple of days or so. The general trends toward the later part of the month would put high pressure towards the north and lower pressure further toward the south. And once more, we would feel more of an easterly wind flow, which has been quite common through this springtime so far. It would put the greatest risk of rain or showers further south later in the month, and it would give maybe western and northwestern Scotland the better chance for being under drier and sunnier conditions and warmer too. But eastern regions could feel rather cool with the air flow off the North Sea. Right at the end of the month and even to the start of June, suggestions are weakly very similar with low pressure toward the south, maybe just the chance to draw in some more warm and humid air from the south-southeast if the pressure patterns do just move around and high pressure shifts to the east and we see lower pressure staying just to the southwest. It could just be that that is warm for a few days and then breaks into thundery showers if lower pressure does start to move in. Naturally, that is a long way off at this stage in the forecast, so keep an eye on the details. We shall update you in the longer range video this time next week. For today, thanks for watching. Bye for now.